Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I wanted to show you the difference between the two main types of tomato leaves. The two main types, and if you get online you'll read different things about different leaves and it may sound like there are more than two types, but there are only really two kinds. So there's the potato leaf, which is most prevalent in the brandywine tomatoes if you grow those, the heirloom brandywines. And if you look at the brandywines, this uh, batch of potatoes is brandywine pink and you can see the leaf has no scalloping on it. It's just smooth, there's no indentations, that's the potato leaf. This is a brandywine pink. The other brandywine that a lot of people grow is brandywine red and you can see the same thing. There's no scalloping on the leaf. And the final brandy wine I grow is the Sudeth strain. And you can see with that also, there's no scalloping on the leaf. And that's typically what they mean by a potato leaf tomato. The other kind of leaf is your standard leaf, and it is scalloped. Here is a Baxter's Bush cherry, and if you look at that leaf, you're going to see it's not smooth. There's a scalloping to it. Now where things get tricky is the standard tomato leaf, like you're looking at now, can come in different shapes. But just keep in mind, you have the potato leaf that has no scalloping, it's smooth, and then you have the standard leaf. Here's another standard leaf. This one is I think it's just a cherry. Yeah, this is a basic cherry tomato. And you can see the scalp leaf again. Here is an ox heart. And the leaf is scalp, but it's a little more pointy. So you start getting changes in how the tomato leaf um, scalp looks. Some of them are more rounded. Some of them are more pointed. And there's another variation of the standard tomato leaf and they call that sometimes carrot top or fir leaf. And there's two varieties. There's one, actually there's only one in here. The top row here is uh, silvery fir, named after the leaves. And you can see that the leaves are small they look a little, they're not really fur, but they look like, I guess, little tiny hairs or whatever. Um, sometimes I call them carrot tops. They look more like carrot tops, but they're just small, tiny, um, scalloped leaves of the standard variety. And then sometimes you get a mix between the potato leaf and the standard leaf. This variety is Sarah's Galapagos Island. And when you look at it, it almost looks like a potato leaf, but there are a few scallops in it. That is your basics on tomato leaves. If you enjoy these videos, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.